right, guys, here we are. And on the right side of the map, representing Empire, trying to win this match and send them on to face Slayers in the second round of Team Arena Challenge number three. It is Empire Violet. And over on the left side of the map, in the purple, from its Gosu, winning a couple games already, getting its team back into the match. It is going to be Ostagy. And they have chosen pink and purple. purple of course, on a ZVZ. Yep, yep. thanks, guys. Um, Thanks so a lot. Violet Appreciate is a player it. who is capable of all killing almost any team. Extremely, yeah, strong. extremely strong player. Yeah, very strong player. But on the other hand, Ostagy can beat Violet, and if he does, Empire has already gone through their best players already. Yep, and there's a ten pool from Ostagy. And that is a ten pool. Yep, that's right. And oh, it's not going to be quite well. It might be effective if. Violet hatches first, which it looks like he, he may. Might. Well, we don't know until 14 supply. No, it's going to no. be actually 14, 14. Fast so, build, yeah. yeah, this 10 pool from uh, Asagi, not going to really do a whole lot. I don't really like the 10 pool in ZVZ Why? so much. Okay. Mm. Well. Yeah, well, it's it's in ZVZ, it's kind of a, a toss-up. Yeah. Um, ZVZ, the openings can be a bit rock, paper, scissory, right? Because if you go hatch first, they go 10 pool. It's like, oh, shoot, I'm going to take damage now. If uh, they go 14, 14, as you can see, and you go 10 pull, you're like, oh, great. Well, I made some links, and now I'm behind in drones, and I can't really do damage. Um, the nice thing, though, what I like to do is if you 10 pull in ZVZ, I think it's good to always get gas along with it and go for speed. Because then if you don't do damage with your initial links, at least you're going to have speed a lot quicker than they will. Yeah. And uh, then that's an advantage you can use to run in, get some extra scouting early on. Get a couple drone kills, maybe try to even things out. I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the 10 pool without no the gas. gas. Yeah, because now he's just behind. Yeah, if you're no going to 10 gonna pool, do damage. Yeah, if you're going to 10 pool, just go all out. You know, get the gas, get 100 gas, get speed. Um, and as it is, yeah, with the fast overload too, Violet's yeah. going to see it right away. I, and he's going to have a queen. Oh, no, he's not going to have a queen. Oh, she's going to uh, have a queen. But yep, Violet uh, will have a queen at some point soon, but not, you know, in time for the links to get here. But he will have some Zerglings ready to receive. He's going to have enough drones to defend. Kept one drone on gas, so I think we're going to see a Baneling Nest come down very soon from him as well. And, yeah, these links, unfortunately for Ostagy, are just not going to do a lot of damage. And if he expands after this, it might get a little bit dicey. We'll see. see I, yeah, links I are out just in time. I would think it would behoove him not to. Oh, man, he's not even greedy. not even moving back. Oh, Ooh. that's... Oh, man. Yeah, that could have been a little bit better. Micro, micro. And now there's a queen. Yep, that's right, with and five range. That, that <laughs> that's that. Why do you need roaches against things when you can just build queens? Uh, so right now, honestly, Ostagy is in a terrible spot. Look at this. Speed is on the way. There's no gas yet for Ostagy. And if he puts down a hatchery, oh, if he expands, if he expands, he's, he's going to be in big trouble. And he's going to expand. Going to probably expand. Yep, there it is. Going and there's a hatchery. And Before gas. To Ling Bane uh, Ling versus yeah. speedless Lings with no gas. Yeah, I've played enough ZVZs to know how this one's gonna go, unfortunately. And uh, no, I'm not gonna. I'm don't not gonna say. Don't give up hope. I'm not gonna give up hope. But here's why. Here's why I'm I'm not feeling too great right now for my teammate Asagi here, right? Because Violet's gonna be like, oh, you know what? I have speed. You don't. You're not gonna have it anytime soon. You're expanding. God, still no I gas. can just do this. I can just make a ton of Lings forever. And you can't do anything about it. So at the very least, he's going to cause a cancel possibly. He has to. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, no way he can keep this hash. He doesn't even have creep over there uh, with his queen. Yeah. I, I, you know, as a Zerg player, when you're in this situation, it's just the worst feeling in the world. I mean, you know that Asagi knows exactly what's going on here. I mean, that's why he's blocking the ramp with queens here. He's going to have to try to do that. Uh, he knows what's going on, but... He, just, he might as well just cancel it right it's now. It's a rough feeling. Well, you don't want to cancel it until you're absolutely sure. I mean, he's still got time, but... Yeah, about now would be a good time right He can't it, bring Lings because he has the Banes. Yep, the Queens do have five range, though. So this, so you know, is something that could make a difference. I would but not want this to finish. He let it finish. All right, he's going for it. He's like, well, I'm going to be too far behind. And he is handling it okay, but Violet has way he's too many Lings. He's just going to focus it down. Yeah, yep, Ugh, that's that. Should have canceled it, man. And as soon as the Broodlings die, he can come right back for the Queens. Or actually, what he can do is run right into the main and force the Queens to come back. Violet, though, uh, droning yeah, and making links. Yeah, he just wants links. to drone. He'll be like, yeah. okay, I not going the hatch. All in. I'm not going to lose now, basically, yep. I think is what he's, his, his mindset is right now. Well, he's way ahead. He's, like, very, very far ahead right now. Um, Ostagy, you know, we saw his talent last game. He's a very good player. He has very good control here. Yep. Um, so he's not out just yet, but 
It's a big deal. It's a big deal to be this far behind early on in the ZVZ for sure. A couple defensive van links at home. Violet using the old adage, if you're ahead, get more ahead. Yep. He's got 200 gas built up, which is a little bit yeah. surprising. He needs to take his people off gas. Uh, or his people. His people. <laughs> his drones. Right. Or tech to lair. He's or take his little people off gas. I've got people. You have people. Uh, <laughs> he needs to take his drones off gas or tech or do something because yeah. he's up to 300 without being used. And well, no matter how many banelings he makes, it's not going to take all that gas. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what he was planning on doing really with this. Um, maybe making Roach Warren and just making a big round of Roaches and going all in. But there's Lair. Yeah, he's not. Okay, there's the Lair now. Osage, the one going for Roaches at the moment, which isn't a bad choice. I mean, he knows his opponent isn't planning on being aggressive with his Banelings, so that does give you a chance to go for Roaches and get for up, go for upgrades a little bit earlier. Is Osage in head and drone count right now? It looks um, like it. He is oh, tied, actually. Okay, yeah, that's a little surprising. It is. Um... Yeah, it is actually a little bit surprising. Basically, what happened was Osage just took a huge risk. He's like, you killed my hatchery. I'm just going to drone anyway while yeah. I re-expand. I'm just going to make drones because I know you can make enough lings if you wanted to to probably kill me anyway. But on the off chance you won't, I'm just going to be prepared economically yeah. if you give me that opportunity. And it looks like Violet actually did this time around. You think around. it was a mistake? Oh, slings coming. Trying to scout. He oh, can't. this mouse. Um, do you think it was a mistake for Violet to not just... I, I, I feel like Violet could have done a lot more damage if he just made more lings and took advantage yeah. of the fact that Ostagy didn't have speed and he just didn't do it. The thing that really kind of held him back was that Ostagy had three queens at the time, Yeah, I believe. Uh, three queens and a spine crawler. Yeah. And Violet was probably thinking that the attrition rate was just a little bit too high to send lings in there. And he may have been right. I, I think there's there's no... Well, there's very little doubt in my mind that if he would have chose to just make lings off of a couple injects and then move in with, like, 60 zerglings, that he may have been able to just win the game right yeah. there. But right. he uh, decided to play on the side of caution, which is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Ostagy, though, uh, doing a good job of taking the appropriate risks. I mean, he really is making the right decisions as far as All that right. goes. So it looks like it's going to be Spire against Infestation Pit. You know, I, fig yeah. I guess Ostagy figured... Well, there's no way I can beat him with Spire. Yeah, so exactly. Just he, and he's already building Spores. Very, very smart. He just saw the Spire. Well, the other thing, too, is that he could be planning for Spire as well because he knows that it's a very uh, oh, trendy thing Oh, he got right in. Now. He's going to scout Ooh, it. Whoops. Yeah, you will see the Infestation Pit. And he will actually kill this Queen, too. That's always nice to get a Queen kill in. Oh, wait. This, he but didn't actually scout the Infestation Pit. Uh, I think oh, maybe he, he did. Oh, yeah, it's right prime. there. He, okay. sh he should yeah. have seen it. Yeah. Let's just make sure because I might be wrong. But Oh, yeah, yeah he, he did see it. Okay. So... Yeah, uh, he knows right now in the ZVZ metagame. 11 mutas. Yeah, if you're ahead in the ZVZ metagame, you just get mutas, and you kind of Usually. plan to win. Because if uh, even if they do go for infestors, a lot of times, and I don't think this applies to this game, but a lot of times they're behind enough in drones that they can't make enough infestors to uh, hold you off. And what you do is you go in and you send lings into the distract them, and then you focus down the infestors yeah. like one or two. But he mutas. actually he has spores, he can and he actually has three infestors here. Yeah, this game he's totally prepared, yeah. but this is kind of a weird ZVZ. This is a uh, not weird. usually how things go after someone loses their hatch to that open yeah. again. Well, Violet. He, he should be smart. He'll see four queens and infestors, and he should just kill the third and then get out of dodge. Yeah. And he probably should text switch because... Oh, oh, great fungal, fungal on those mutas. Oh, where's the sec? Oh. He got some of them, but it's just so many mutas right now. He's still going to lose all his queens. That's rough, man. Or he's going to lose where's half the third his queens anyway. Because he has another one. There it there. is. Getting another nice fungal. Oh. Wow. Very nice. Where are the queens in the main, though? There's only one. Okay. Very nice. That could have gone way worse for Osage. And he gets to no keep kidding. his third. That's not and bad at all. And those aren't doing anything either. Nice I, recovery. I'm a bit surprised, actually, that uh, Violet didn't check this third. He didn't check it at all. He doesn't natural. even see yeah. it. Might be getting a little bit ahead of himself yeah, here, but definitely. we'll see. I mean, neither player in a bad spot, really, right now. Um, Osage has enough infestors out to kind of handle this. He's got a couple roaches to protect him because, like I said, you need to worry about lings if you're going for infester and they have uh, mutas out. But he's got enough to kind of defend all this. Interesting. This is a really interesting ZVZ, actually. Asagi, uh, despite a really, really rough opening, the risks that he took early on happened to be paying off. All right, so it looks like Violet's like, okay, Spire was the wash. So now he's yeah. just going to switch to Roach and Fester, and we'll have Roach and Fester versus Roach and Fester. But Asagi's ahead in upgrades. Violet's just getting 1-0, and Asagi already has 1-0, and he's going yeah. to 2-0. 
And goodbye, and Mutalist. So he scouted the third, and he's like, you know, I think Violet realizes he's actually in kind of trouble here because he's behind in upgrades. Yeah. And he doesn't have Infestor tech yet. I mean, he just got, he's getting the upgrade now, but Ostrich already has the tech and the, and the upgrade and Infestors, so. Yeah. I, I think Ostrich huh. should probably try to press an advantage here. He should realize he that he's ahead because he knows there's no way that Violet's still going Mutus at this point. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say that's not a bad idea at all. And there he's sending in some slow C beetlings as well. Just to scout things out. Yeah, now the, the trouble with getting aggressive at this point is that at the pro level, you kind of assume your opponent's going to do the right thing. That's quite the escort for that drone going to make this for. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's he's like president. the presidential yeah. escort. Yeah, presidential drone. Drone have president. diplomat flags on that drone. That's, that's right. We need to have like motorcycles driving alongside of it or something too. Oh, look what Violet's doing with those but roaches. Yeah, uh, what I was kind of saying is uh, he's moving some across here just and to kind of poke the front. Too. Ah, okay, yeah, he's going to try to go so Nurchio style, yeah. And um, this is similar to what I was talking about, where basically if uh, Asenji were to go and attack right now, Violet would be able to reinforce fast enough that it probably wouldn't work yet at this point in the game. Even getting a couple drone kills, too. Wow. Asenji I'm a little bit slow responding to that. Oh, wow, that's smart. Ah, uh, very wow, smart. Wow, that's smart. That's awesome. Wow. Violet, That's next that's level good. thinking right there. No kidding, yeah. And he sees the fourth going up because he has an overlord over there, too. Yep. Ostagy actually about 20, about 10 supply ahead right now in terms of infestor count, 5 to 8. So he's quite a bit ahead there as well. But again, the game just not over yet. I think a lot of this is actually going to come down to uh, attack positioning. You know, who is going to make the right call? in terms of when to attack and where to attack, and these guys right here could certainly get in here and that could possibly kill the third of later in the game. If, yeah. if and when Austin and decides that might to be now. Out. Yeah, oh, here we go. Here we go, the Roach is coming oh, to third. Nice Great bungle. bungle. Yeah, holding a lot of those back. And now come the Roaches. Yeah, this won't work out at all. Ooh. In fact, he's going to actually lose most of these Roaches. Wow, what could have been an amazing play ended up a disaster because Austin G was ready for it. Yeah, wow. Not bad at all. Okay, so Austin G maxed out. Both of these players actually maxed out right now. Violet close enough. I know why he picked pink too. It's because Austin G stole his uh, purple color. Uh, he is Violet. He is actually. Violet. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, interesting, uh, interesting expansion choice by Violet. A lot of Zergs would take this one instead. Yeah. It's a little bit closer, a little bit easier to reinforce. So let's do an upgrade check. All right. Zero two to zero two Ooh. two. Oh, that could make the difference right there. And looks like what may be a bit of a flank. Oh, but these roaches are caught oh, big time nice out of position. Fungal. This is going to hurt bad. Asagi, not a good play. Oh, no, and, and another good oh, roach is no. coming in. Oh, wow. What in the world? Asagi making is... a huge error right there with those roaches. Oh, the pathing just not working out in his favor at all. He needs to pull back right now. He should not be pressing this. Oh, he gets a decent fungal nice fungal. there, but... What yeah, is, what he needs to be so careful right now. That was disastrous, Mike. Oh, and this is not a good fight either. No, he can't be attacking right here. This nice is bungles, but it, it is. Have enough this is all, he's got Burrow, man. This is going to be healed up a lot unless he fungles one more time. Oh, whoa. nice supply drop there. Man. And Violet's actually down 20 supply now. No kidding. How is this happening? Ostagy just managing to catch Violet in the right spot at the right time here. He what a crazy GBZ, now. man. He needs, he needs to go. He needs to go. Exactly right. But Violet, you know, he's kept up on his injects in a big way if we look. He has only one larva right now, and he has very, well, relatively low money for the position he's in. Festers. Nice. And this base may get taken out here. Austin G looking pretty good right now. He needs to, he needs to reform, regroup. There we go. Yep. And here come the reinforcements. So this is the problem that you run into, is that when you're attacking your opponent in ZBZ, they can get reinforcements there so quickly. Austin G may just need to make a run for it with his infestors, and All he right. will. The base does live, doesn't even really take a lot of damage. All right. Yeah. Now he should be able to back out. They're even oh. supply. Oh, he's, he's going. 
And again, this is 2-2 two, two versus 1-2. Two, two, so yeah. So Violet is going to win this war of attrition every time simply because his roaches, Osuji's roaches, are not as good. He's trading a bit more economically. Yeah. And it's so close. I feel like Osuji might be getting uh, a little bit over eager here. Now. Yeah, he can yeah. see now. He's outnumbered. He needs to run away. It's a very close game right now, but Osuji pushed back on the defensive again down in supply. I can't believe he hasn't noticed the fact that his roaches aren't upgraded enough. Yeah, where are those infestors, by the way, from Osuji? He yeah, had a bunch they of go? Had a lot. Yeah. Hit Where the are they? Tab? Um, they're there. He's still, still got six. six of them. Yeah. I don't know where they are. I don't know either, man. There they are. Oh, there they are. Yeah. A little bit later here. Ooh, Not wait. enough energy to uh, do Bongo. anything with them, unfortunately. And oh no, Violet. The upgrades really coming in handy here. Quick throw to try to regain some health, but I don't yeah. know if it's going to be enough this in this is case. All upgrades. I mean, this is yeah. just pure upgrade. One hundred percent. Yeah. Wow. And he's not going to be able to hold this fourth. In fact, I would say he needs to just stop fighting and let it go because he's just losing roaches right now. Yeah, it, I mean, the Infestor's there as well with low energy. It's a little bit dangerous. This one coming in with enough for one fungal, it looks like. But Violet continuing to push back. This yeah, hatchery going gonna down. There it goes. And Violet forcing Ostagy back to just three bases. 50 supply ahead Man. right now. What a crazy ZVZ. Ostagy doing a great job of coming back in it. But in the end... Violet just having a little bit too much in the upgrade department, and it looks like that might be enough to finish off Ooh, Violet. Austin, should be able to kill this off. It's yeah. A good position. Well, this is also a situation in ZVZ as well, where if you notice your opponent's still with a lot of infestors, sometimes you can just make roaches and just be like in multiple places at once. Violet's not really doing that yet. Yeah. Looks like he's going to now. Yeah. But yeah, you can just kind of skip infestors at this point if you've got an upgrade advantage and just go tons of roach. You're like, all right. I can just bull rush my way through this right now, and yeah. I think that's what we're going to see Violet try he to do. Out, he out economies him and out upgrades him. So yeah, he's like, he doesn't right. need infestors anymore, actually. So same yeah. premise as PVZ. Okay, more upgrades, more bases, send roaches yeah. for days. Oh, nice fungo preventing some of those from getting through, but as you can see, it's just not enough. What's the energy on those infestors? Some of them have enough Decent, for fungal. But ooh, it's all about the upgrades. Free. That's a nice fungal, but another nice fungal. I mean, if you look at the production tab, it kind of tells it tells the story. Yeah, I mean, 14 roaches, five roaches, three infestors. The yeah. infestor count is not going to be as good for Ostagy as a roach count is going to be for Violet at this point, especially now that Ostagy is back on three bases. But, you know, what do you do, really? What can you do? Roaches are such a mineral-intensive unit yeah. that it becomes really tough when your economy is hurting like this uh, to uh, make to enough roaches here. to handle it. He cannot run here. Yeah. And the fungal's doing some damage to the roaches of Violet, but yeah, the concave just too much here. 180 supply to 136, and uh, all the infestors are gonna no. go down. Oh, on oh an run. empire on the brink of winning this match. Oh, it looks like Ossidy, he had his chances, but it's gonna be too much. The 2-2 two -two versus 2-1 is definitely yeah. the difference in this game. There's a, an infestant thing done squad, over here, yeah. but too little too late, too little I too think. Late. And yeah, 113 supply to 168. Yep. Pure roaches being built both sides, and but Violet still has more, more roaches. More, yeah. yep. It's a numbers game at this point, and unfortunately, Violet is, uh, or unfortunately for Osage, he's on the losing side of that. Here come the drones. GG, rats. Good manner from the guys, but in the end, it looks like Empire takes the match with a score of five to three. It's Gosu playing very competitively, yeah. competitively, if I do say so myself.